not going to waste my time. Just make sure we are going in the right direction. No, we went the wrong way because I went fucking after that. Thank God we've got a map. I mean, Silent Hill 1 for the PlayStation 1 was unique and fascinating to me. And that's what made me a fan. So when the second game came out, um, it blew me away. The graphics, the storytelling, sound design, uh, Yamamoto, Akira Yamamoto, um, music-wise, was phenomenal. Um, I've all 1, 2, 3, 4 soundtracks on my phone, my PC. They're just damn good. Um, I'd love to bring four um, to the channel. Maybe one day we'll bring four. Um, four is our personal favourite as well. But let's go in here. Uh, as you can see, James is taking a breath. So let's look at this map. So that will fill in all the blanks. Right, so we don't have to like go anywhere. We can. We know we've got to go to the Woodside apartment. Um, and stuff. Right, so we've already went to the question mark. No, we've not. That's where we've got to get the key. That's the key. So that's right. That's where we've got to go back. That's a key. I kind of gave it away. Copied it in my own map. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Now, this could mean a few things, right? With that statement. Um... A lot of fans, even myself, kind of like try and tie it to Silent Hill 4. Because Silent Hill 4, um, you're locked in a room from the inside, you're chained in, and a Henry travels about um, using like tunnels and holes um, to get to areas of Silent Hill, because like I said, you're not based in Silent Hill. Um, so that's where a lot of fans took it from. Um, and I think to this day I still take it that way as well. So we're going to go down here, let's go and get more items. Just, like I said, we are ignoring them, we're not going to fight them just now. There's no point. Save your health items. That's that's the best way. If you're going to do survival horror, you play it the right way, so let's go in here. So there would have been another special item in here, the Hyper Spray. Um, which I can explain in a minute, but we'll read this memo first. I wait at Bar Neely's, but we've already been there. So the hyper spray depends on which rank you get in the game. If you get a 10 star rank in the game, depending on your ending, how fast you do it, how many kills, um, certain things works towards it. Uh, it's like you can kill monsters instantly. Um, so it's like a fun weapon, that's all it is. It's just a fun weapon. And this is blocked. But we'll come back this way later. So, let's stick to this bit in case there's stuff I've missed. Shit, no, okay, we'll just leave him. Let's run up here and we'll go to Martin Street. And we will get that key. Let's just make sure I'm going to bring it up. Okay, we're going to go past Happy Burger. Oh, here's another body. And it looks like James. I'll touch on that later. Ah, oh, fuck you, I'm going this way. Bye! Uh, we should be there nearly. Martin Street? Yep, next corner. Then we'll go straight up. And there's another health item. Take that, health drink. So James is looking at something, and there's that back in the day got me. That I remember I jumped at that. So there's a key in the ground. Apartment gate key. And again, the dead body looks like James. So what can that mean? It can mean a few things, but we'll just go out with him. It 
to mean a few things, but all in good time, I will explain them, but not just now. Too early in the game. And plus, you never know, this could probably just be the first episode. So we should be coming up in the apartment very, very soon. Yep, we are if we stick to this bit. Because we'll see it, because the camera will lock onto it um, for us to know we've got to go in here. Right, we can't get in that one. Oh, we took damage. We took damage. So that's basically, that's main attack, is it just spews um, stuff on you. I'll let that hang there. That's a hint to um, what that monster is. So here we go. And in the first area. Okay, so let's take up the health item. Let's look at everything. I'll just do a top off. I've got five. There we go. We're going to be fine. We'll get the map of the area. And that's us. And we'll do our save. Right, off we go. So let's just check the doors. It's locked. Look at the that's that's still impressive. Look at that. Um, even just a shadow texture. Okay, let's go in here. Right. Let's start checking doors. That one. It's locked, so we can get a key for that. That one we can get a key for. So this is why you use your map, and I'll show oh, it's too dark to read the map, we need to find a flashlight. And if we go in here... Right, so there's something in there, so we need something heavy to push it down. Move that camera around. We'll have to kill this. Oh, why did you not kick it, James? That's one thing you've got to do. You've got to kick the monster when it's down. And we'll just make sure it's dead. There we go. That's it, dead. Looks like the lock is broken. Right, that one's still broken. We can go up here. So, I think there's a puzzle in here, yep, but we can't do anything yet because we need the key for it. So, we're as well, oh, fucking camera angle. So, we're as well leaving, let's see if there's anything over here, anything helpful, nope. Nope, that one's broken. I think, nope, still can't read the map, so I wanted to show you um, what uh, it does. Go this way. I think we can get in here. Yep, flashlight time. And before that, before we actually take that, look at that. Let's look at Mary. Take a take a good look at that picture. Okay. While we're here, we we'll look at our no. Okay, I just, I just have to do it fast now. That is Mary's clothes. And here's a new monster, the mannequin. And that's it dead. So, the mannequin I will explain later on as well. <laughs> All, all this lore I can tell you, and I can't tell you just now because it kind of gives away certain things in the game, and I don't want that. 
Um, right, so now we've got the flashlight, everything's going to be better. So let's look at the map and you'll see why I'm doing this. So as you can see, the scribbles are those we cannot access, but just lines means we can get the king go in. So we still have a few doors to check. And we can turn the light on and off. Oh, we've we'll got two. So let's pull one back to kill. Make life easier until we get the handgun. And that's it, dead. Just make sure. Um, of course, this weapon is playing up to its name. It really doesn't do a lot of damage. But we can upgrade to the pipe um, right after this level and we'll get a shotgun and various other weapons. That's that dead. Okay, so we're safe for the time being. Up oh, no, we've got more! Kick him, James, kick him! Uh, handgun bullets. Yeah, let's check in here. Oh, that, oh, that gave me a fright! That gave me a fright! <laughs> And there you go. Right, okay. Let's check again. That that gave me a fright. That gave me a fright. Anyhow, right. I don't think there was much in here, um, apart from handgun bullets. Uh, which is really good to start getting. Um, we've got, I think we should have at least 16, if I'm right. 20. Ah, it's 10. It's 10 in this game. Right, okay. Okay, so let's get back out of here. Check this door. Oh, that one's broke. Okay, so we can't do anything on this floor then. But can we open this door? We didn't check this. Nope, can't get this one opened. So we need something heavy and we need a key. That's our objectives just now. So let's go up. Let's go up. And like playing this back in the day, um, back in 2000, um, 2001, was, was frightening. It actually really did scare me. It was a keen of ground. On the other side of the bars, if I stretch my arm out, I might just, I just might be able to reach it. Will you like to pick it up? Yes. I won't tell her name yet, but she is a pest. And it did, it did really creep me out, because like, look how dark it was, and then you've got Yamamoto's um, amazing score of music. <laughs> it really did, it really did kid, fuck you up. So there we go, handgun. Um, and we will save it just now. I'm not going to use it um, right at this moment. Because I don't want to waste the bullets, but let's have a look at it. Okay. Uh, fail clip holds 10 bullets, light handgun, not much stopping power, but easy to use. And we've got this bit here. The lock is broken. So we need that key. 
So let's have a look at the map. Right, okay, so we can't go through that bit. We've only got that one bit there. Oh, I didn't check the rooms there. I better go back. I better go back in case I forgot something in those rooms. I think, I think it's just the key, uh, the gun, sorry, that's in that room. I, I don't think it's anything else, but being the safe side, I'm as well rechecking. So, that's broke, and it's broke, okay. So that's okay, we checked, that's the most important thing. And there's something near us. Don't know what. But you can hear it, because the static's going off. Oh, we've got one of those guys. That's okay. That's okay. So we'll go back down the stair. Let's go back down the stair and go back on to the first floor. What was that? Some kind of noise north of here. Nope, oh, it's up here. And who's that? We'll come back for you. We'll come back for him. And if we check his hands, oh no, no, there's a key up there. I thought it was in his hands. Right, okay. Two room two o two. So let's go to room two o two, and he's disappeared. Right. So that is room two o three. And two two should be just coming up. Here is here. Check the kitchen, see if there's anything up. Just butterflies flying about the place. We've got to go in here. We've got to go in here. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of this hole. Will you investigate? Yes. 